Hello everyone. In this tutorial I will demonstrate the use of the target communication framework in conjunction with Eclipse, which can be used to remotely debug your um, various uh, C and C++ projects. Um, some of the prerequisites will be to have a functional virtual box and hopefully um, you have installed uh, Ubuntu or your favorite Linux distribution. I uh, myself have installed Ubuntu on this particular uh, virtual machine and I will also use uh, Putty Agent to access uh, this uh, particular virtual uh, machine as well as Eclipse. First we will identify what the target framework is and what it could do for us. There is a, a wiki on uh, eclipse.org that uh, describes the capabilities of this particular framework. Um, I will quickly summarize some of its strengths. Um, the TCF is a communication framework which uh, allows us to communicate with embedded system targets and if you scroll down towards the bottom of the document it will give us some of the capabilities which are uh, uh, provides a locator service which also can uh, perform remote file access, remote process access and give us remote systems uh, status monitoring and it can be used for managing, exploring, configuring remote targets as well as uh, provide a full feature debugger for C and C++ uh, applications. We are mainly going to focus on this particular um, application of it which is the debugging section particularly for remote targets which are installed inside a virtual machine. So let's get started. Um, one of the first things that you're going to need is to configure Eclipse environment. If you haven't downloaded Eclipse you can go and do so right now. Uh, just access uh, www.eclipse.org um, I'm going to open my Eclipse and the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the install software. I have provided a link for uh, accessing the eclipse.org uh, server which has all of this uh, plugins that you need to install. The ones that you need to focus on are obviously CDT which is going to be used for your C and C++ um, environment and uh, you will need to install the CDT Visual C++ support. You can also install the Auto Tool support for CDT. Um, I'm not going to proceed in installing these packages because I already have them. The next package that you're going to need to install is the TCF and you will need to select this three boxes, the TCF C++, C++ debugger, the TCF Remote System Explorer and the TCF Target Explorer and once you have those selected you'll press uh, next or finish and um, hopefully when you have all those uh, those installed you can go back to help and in the About Eclipse um, dialog you can hit installation details and over here you should have a pretty good summation of all the different packages that are installed. Okay, at this point, uh, this is it for Eclipse. We will move forward um, into installing the remote agent um, that's going to go and start your virtual machine. So to do this, um, I'm going to launch PuTTY. Okay. I'm going to choose my particular connection. I'm going to log into the remote system. And I'm going to install the remote agent into my home directory. Over here, I'm going to first log as root. And I'm going to proceed to create a directory where I'm going to be installing the agent. And I'm going to name this directory 
for simplicity reasons as TCF. Okay, once that directory is uh, created, I'm going to switch to it. Now I'm going to paste that link that I just copied at the bottom of the link list. And that's going to be basically the git uh, clone instructions uh, that are going to pull the TCF agent from the repository. So once this uh, particular objects are copied over, you could do a quick uh, listing of, of it, uh, of the directories. Just type ls. And you should see that org.eclipse.tcf agent. You're going to switch to that directory. And you're going to be wanting to move into the agent directory. Okay. Whoops. And then over here, you will just type uh, make. Once again, make sure that you are logged in as um, root. If you're not logged in as root, make sure you type sudo make. This will take a little while. So particularly, we are right here on the step building the TCF agent. And um, it should tell you that there might be some dependencies that you will need to install um, on your remote system. Some of the libraries that you might be missing uh, might be OpenSSL, OpenSSL development, uh, libuuid, and the libuuid devel. Um, you will need to uh, do a sudo apt get install on those particular libraries and make sure that they're uh, present prior to doing the make uh, step. Anyways, um, so everything looks good here. At this point, we're going to proceed to um, start the agent. So uh, the actual agent is inside the OBJ uh, directory, so you need to um, switch to OBJ. And it's a long tree to the actual uh, executable, so you're going to need to navigate this particular tree and then go to Linux. Okay, and then the x86-64 for the target and the debug. Oops. All right. Uh, now that you're inside the directory, you're going to be interested in the agent, so you're going to do that slash agent minus L minus 10. All right, so now you, this are the actual instructions that you need to start your agent. Um, we're going to pre perform a remote debugging session and demonstrate how this works. Um, you're going to need to switch to a workspace on your remote machine. Um, I have already created some sample files. Um, so I'm going to choose other and I'm going to move to this directory which is already mapped uh, as a shared folder. You're going to need to switch to your C, C++ perspective. We have this particular project, which is uh, an Eclipse project that I've created. One thing to take notice of is that uh, you will need to have created a make file there. And in this particular make file, um, one of the gotchas is to actually use the, this uh, flag here called G, which basically includes the symbol files into your executables and I do that for all this uh, all three of these projects. The one that we're going to be testing is going to be called Alsa Wave and it's basically the whole um, sample is inside this uh, .c file and we can take a look at it very quickly here by do double clicking on Alsa Wave and um, here you can see 
sort of what the sample does. It basically loads a PCM file from disk and um, sends it to uh, the ALSA driver. Now I can do a clean make. And as you can see, it has generated new files with um, new symbols. Uh, inserted inside the files, inside the executables. So you can see here that um, ALSA Wave is now in executable format, so I can send it a WAV file. So we can see that that's working, that's the test tone. Um, that's uh, being uh, basically uh, the wave files being parsed out into um, raw buffers. Okay, so we know that this works, and now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, go back into Eclipse and we are going to uh, set up our debugging session. Okay. So you can see um, we actually remotely went um, into the target directory and we were able to run this uh, first. And um, we're going to now set up a debugging session. So what you need to do is you need to go into debug configurations. And I have already set this up so you can kind of uh, follow this as a roadmap but uh, basically up top we specify the name of this particular uh, debug configuration we're going to use the remote path on the remote uh, uh, Ubuntu installation and that's in a shared drive uh, where I installed it which is a media SFZ drive um, and then um, also PCM which you saw when I uh, navigated to PuTTY um, and then also wave is the actual name of the executable. Uh, don't put dot C or anything in front of it, it's just also wave, which is uh, what make has uh, generated for us. Then we're going to switch into the working directory. And that's basically the same path, but without the executable name. Uh, if you switch to the target tab, then you basically will see uh, the link that um, uh, TCF agent has provided for us and here's the remote host ID um, those things are going to be uh, automatically detected uh, due to the fact that we have a remote agent running on the Linux uh, uh, box In the argument section, we're going to provide the um, sample waveform, which is the one kilohertz wave test file. And the last thing, you will need to make sure that you point to the um, source directory, which is uh, Z also PCM. You could also hit the Add button here and choose Project. OK, and select also Wave from the selection. I will not do that. And just hit Debug. The system will remotely compile the um, source. And then it will um, create um, an actual debug session. At this point, you can hit the uh, green arrow, which says resume. And it should, um, oh, it's having an issue. Seems to locate the file, but that's pretty easy to do. Just uh, go ahead and, and select your um, uh, 
also installation so that let's see we go back to root here uh, also PCM and then just choose also wave.c okay there it goes so now I'll load the source file if everything went well you should be um, reset at your entry point um, of your executable which is in the main and uh, at this point you can put a breakpoint anywhere you wish into your code let's say put one here and then go ahead and execute there you go and you should have full um, IntelliSense you should be able to see all of your uh, variables breakpoints registers and uh, loaded modules um, you can also single step through your code um, so let's do that you know we can single step into this wave load module here there it is wave load and then um, you can see here the various variables um, you can also um, place your cursor on top of uh, most of the variables um, and be able to you know find out their values there we go all right well this concludes the end of this tutorial thank you